everybody and welcome to Henry's Kitchen where today we're going to be making Henry's Spaghetti and Meatballs. This dish is very filling and not too difficult to make which makes it the perfect choice for feeding your hungry kids after a long day on the rink. Especially if you're a busy career gal who doubles as a proud hockey mom. Let's get started. So the ingredients that we're going to be using for today's recipe are one onion, one garlic, one canned tomato paste, one box rosemary pricks, one box fresh parsley, one stone ground mustard paste, one cumin, one salt and pepper, one red pepper flakes, one uh, stroked pampika, one salt and pepper, one extra virgin olive oil, one egg, one bread, one of those and then one pound of meat and one parmesan and one achini to pee, pee number 78 and some tomato puree. We're going to start by chopping up our garlic here. This is a lot harder than I'm making it look here. We're going to dice the onions. You know, they say that if you want a successful restaurant, you have to serve some kind of food that you can't make at home. When you look at Starbucks, and they pretty much just make coffee, and everybody can make coffee at home. That's probably why Starbucks has never really been very successful. So it's time to start working on our meat. Um, what we're going to be doing, basically, is just taking all of the ingredients that we've gathered and uh, pouring them in there. So we've got uh, our onions, our garlic, and our mustard paste. And I like to add just a little bit of stroked pampika. We're going to add in our breadcrumbs, and this is just for texture. And finally, we're going to crack in one egg. You know, one interesting thing about being in your 50s is you could be reasonably sure that all of your preschool teachers are dead. Okay, so at this point I'm literally going to take our meat and I'm going to form it into meatballs. One of the areas where people really screw this kind of thing up is they make 10, 20 meatballs, and the problem is you can't fit them in the pan. Even the largest pan in the world isn't going to fit 20 meatballs, so I try to make it reasonable size. Okay, so now we're just going to put these on the stove and then we'll start working on our pasta. Okay, so I might have screwed up actually because instead of spaghetti, I got something called a china de PP number 78, which is actually little balls of pasta. So, I mean, it's all the same shit, but it just might come out a little different shape or whatever. And while we bring that to a boil, let's just flip our meatballs over using a basic flipping technique, like so. Okay, so let's start formulating our sauce. We'll start with a cap full of olive oil. So I wasn't able to find any tomato puree, but I found tomato paste, which is basically the same thing. Throw in our onions, some fresh parsley, add in our rosemary pricks. And the recipe called for tomato paste. I wasn't able to find any tomato paste, but I found tomato puree, which is basically the same thing. Now let's stir it all up. Okay, so what I've done here is I've set up sort of a makeshift assembly line, if you will, where we're going to put our sauce into what I call our main dish. Then we're going to add our pasta. And finally, the main course of the dish, which is going to be our meatballs.
And now what we're going to do is we're going to transfer these from the original dish into a larger dish and hope that it mixes up a little bit while we're doing that process. And there we have Henry's spaghetti and meatballs, which is going to feed a hungry bunch right there after a long day on the rink. Mmm. Tastes delicious. Well, thanks for joining us here in Henry's Kitchen, everybody. And thanks to all the patrons at Patreon slash Henry's Kitchen for continuing to support these videos and to make them possible. I hope everybody has a great April. And I'd rather just waste away than to spend my life thinking about the choices that I've made and how I'd change them if I could.